before the program, I thought there was no way that I'd ever do anything in the oceanography field with phytoplankton. I thought, no way. But then as soon as I started doing the program, I was like, this stuff's actually really cool. The Keller Bloom program is an opportunity for high school kids from across the state, one from each of the 16 counties, to have a really exciting hands-on experience in oceanography in a real lab setting. I went to um, a really small school in Washington County where there were no marine science programs. And so the Bloom program was my first real exposure to what marine science was and what marine research consisted of. I realized that where I wanted to be my career trajectory, I wanted it to be into marine science. The Bloom Cloak program really had a big impact on that. My passion was then ignited by their passion and it was just this amazing, uh, collaborative, passionate <laughs> process of, of just, you know, understanding what all of, how all of this works. I see myself eventually going back to grad school to get my PhD in uh, probably a, a chemical oceanography. I was hooked and so I went back to my high school my senior year and developed an independent study in marine biology and just it kind of blew up from there. I pursued a PhD in, in marine science. Afterwards, after the program, I was actually so inspired by what I, what I did um, that I was able to do some independent research. When I went um, to interview at my college with some of the scientists to get research posi positions. Um, they asked me like things that I've worked with before and I started listing off all of the different equipment I've worked with here and they were really impressed that I've been exposed to that. Bloom provided uh, many resources that we might not necessarily have access to uh, in high school, for example, to collect samples and then bring them back to the lab and uh, then actually get to analyze them and, and look at them in ways that I had never really thought of before. Not only just the inspiration of it, but also being able to then talk about my work in a way that was professional, was respected, was seen as real science, you know, not, not just a project that you would do in school. Um, and, and in that way, suddenly I was able to perceive myself as a, uh, as, as a real scientist. 